the babies, man, the babies, that woman, like that whole situation, like that is, I'm here because of those three and her unborn, but I'm here for those three, but I'm also here because I, I am in a unique position and I really want to help you guys. Well, we appreciate that. I think oh, yeah. it's obvious. I mean, we, we can sense, you know, anybody can sense sitting here how that you do care. Yeah, and that, and that, yeah, there's little, there's little girls involved and little babies involved here. And we all want to see them home safely. Mm -hmm. So, so again, if you are in a unique position because there's nobody in, in his life that is in your shoes. So there are certain things that he might say to you that he wouldn't say to somebody else. Or there might be something that you could find out about that somebody else, nobody else could. So we'll have to see how that goes and how see how the investigation progresses. Um, so we may reach back out to you. But uh, for now, just my main thing would be is if you hear from him and, and you think you should tell us about it, please call me. If you think of something else that happened, even if you think, you know what, it's really not that significant, but maybe I should have mentioned it, please call me and tell me. Because every little piece can help. You know, one of the things, I, I'm not even sure that I asked you this, maybe I did, but is there any particular places that you guys ever went that stood out? Did he have a special place that he wanted to go with you to go for a walk or to go, you know, view the sights or anything like that? Every place that we went was, like, my idea. And I think all of it was special to him because I really took time to go to places that he would like, but it was all stuff that I did. Okay. Every time. Like, dinner, dinner. Like, any, any place we went, like... It was something that I picked. I was like, hey, I know you would like this. What do you think? And he was always all about it. But like going camping was my idea. You know, we went out a couple other times. My idea. Like all of it was my idea. He was just all about it. So he was just wanted to spend time with you? Yes. Yeah. I don't think he cared where it was at. Okay. Okay. Well, if something jumps out, if you think about a camping trip or something, and, and something that was said or something that was somehow significant about that, again, you know, feel free to give a call and let me know. Uh, because again, we just don't know. And it's one of those things where somebody might actually, a neighbor, a coworker, somebody might have a piece of information that makes the difference in the case. So, and you may have that, that piece of information, we just don't know yet. Um, obviously, we're gonna be interviewing everybody. Everybody from family, friends, coworkers, you know, right down the line. So, we got a lot of work to do, but we really appreciate you reaching out. And, Hopefully, we'll, we'll, we'll get to the bottom of this quickly. Where's he at? Right now, I don't know. I know that he's been interviewed um, in Frederick uh, by the police there, and he's probably going to be interviewed again, maybe multiple times, um, and family members as well. I think that he had some friends he was going to stay with. Um, that they wanted to, you know, we wanted to look at the house. I don't even know if he's gone back to the house or if he's with friends. I don't, I don't see him. But he may reach out to you. I mean, it's one of these things in a, in a situation like this. You tend to reach out to the people who are closest to you um, and, and, and want to, you know, want to talk about things. And what so, am I supposed to do if he does that? If, if, if he goes and call you, obviously we would like to know anything and everything that he says. Because, again, he may tell you something that he's not telling us. And also, even something that may seem obvious to you, if he told us something opposite, it's important. So if he said, I'm staying at Joe's house, and he tells you he's staying at Chris's house, or Bob's house, or whatever, and that's not true, well, then that could be significant. You know, if he tells you that he went someplace, and he didn't go there, that could be significant. So, even though you, if, if you do have contact with him, and you think it's just a normal conversation, there could be something that's significant about that. Do you want to have contact with him? Not yet. Not yet.